These trucks stuck at Ishasha are enough to signal that all is not well across the border in eastern Congo. The Deputy Resident District Commissioner of Kanungu District, Gad Ayimbisibwe, has put the number of trucks at over 70. They are, sleep, they are really suffering. No toilets, uh, no, no, no enough accommodation, no enough feeding. It is a tragedy. Some of them are Ugandans, some are Congolese, some are from other countries. Uh, some have parked the trucks and have gone back to Kampala to see if the situation will clear. But there are hundreds of asylum seekers, almost all of them undocumented. The inflow of refugees has rather increased to thousands, I think, uh, as of today. Uh, I can confirm that two days ago we dispatched more than five buses uh, to uh, other refugee uh, holding centers, uh, settlement centers uh, from Kanongo, and many others are coming. And I think probably we must have a consignment uh, of also people to again send to, to, to those areas within this same week. According to the district chairperson of Kanungu, Sam Arinite Kajojo, the porous borders are now putting the area's security at risk, and he wants a quick intervention from the authorities. Nyanga sub-county is one of the sub-counties with most porous borders. Basically because everyone knows that there is a war in the Democratic Republic of Congo, we usually have an influx of refugees who come to our sub-county to look for residence, to look for food, to trade with us. I want to call upon all these other stakeholders, eh? MTI, uh, Red Cross, UNHCR and others to really intensify, you say it, uh, to intensify their activities in trying to enlighten and educate people on the dangers that can come along, especially along the health lines. Even the communities that informally host these asylum seekers have their own complaints. Some are badly behaved. They just want to come and uh, take law in their hands. They do exactly what they want to do without considering that they are in a foreign country. Some come as criminals with bad behavior, want to steal, want to rape, things of the sort. So those are the most challenges we are having around, especially those who are coming from uh, Congo. In that case, there should be a dialogue, constant dialogues between our locals and the, the refugees, especially these from Congolese. And that one should be organized by our local leaders. Fighting between the M23 rebels and the government's forces resumed in eastern Congo more than a month ago following relative peace. There are fears that the fighting will continue since the government has rejected talks with the rebel M23, which insists it has no plans of withdrawing from areas under its control. 